great battle of power. The story starts with a person called Theruth. He lived in an ordinary world called Earth, on a place called Long Island. He really felt different because his eyes were always red and he had the ability to control fire. He only had four friends. Charbolt, Bull, Trident, and Cypress. Thebrus was on his bed watching TV. Cybris was playing with fire. Thebrus' mother, Mary, was in the living room, also watching TV. Suddenly, thunder boomed through the sky, hitting the roof. Mary gathered the boys in the living room and gave Thebrus an amulet. She told Thebrus to protect his brother. Thebrus picked up Thebrus. Mother, come with us. Thebrus barked, but it was too late. Thebrus ran down the back door and kept on running. One by one, Thebrus got all his friends to go hide in the woods. Thebrus took hold of the amulet and slammed the amulet to the ground, how the portal appeared. Thebrus fell in the portal by accident, hitting his head and he saw all his friends jump down and land on the feet. Finally, Thebrus started to black out. But when he woke up, he found himself in the underworld. There he saw someone who looked powerful. Thebrus snarled, Who are you? Hades admitted, My name's Hades. Where are my friends? In the training hall. Come with me, Thebrus. Thebrus claimed, How do you know my name? Thebrus barked, Your friends told me, so follow me now. Thebrus followed Hades, while Hades continued, Do you know who your dad was? Thebrus blurted, No. Hades went, I am your dad. I am the god of the underworld, and since your mother is mortal, that makes you half god, half mortal. Hades laughed, and he walked out and exclaimed, I'm going to get your brother. Stay here. All of a sudden, Pilate took out a sword and lunged right at him. Thebus pulled the sword off the wall and slapped the sword with all his might. When he opened his eyes, he was gone, and all remained was ash on the floor. Bulls, Thebus, and Charbles came out and saw the ash on the floor and the sword in my hand. Hades snagged, now you have to do with this because he's been hunting your family for a long time, and you're next. Luckily, I tricked Poseidon and Zeus to make a deal not to kill him himself, but send his son instead. Tried it and Zeus son that I don't know yet. He was looked down to shame. Hades barked, and now you must go to the underworld, to the bottom of the sea, to earth, then the sky. Take the sword and key, get to the highest place and throw the key in the air, and then you'll teleport. Here, here you go, you're gonna need it. Charbolt, Bull, Thepress, and Thebrus made their way through the underworld until they saw lost skeletons, boats, and arrows. Thebus took Thebus by the hand and fled, while Bull and Sharples hid the skeletons with tree branches. They kept running until they saw an elf with a sword stuck on a tree. The elf ran with wands, shooting magic. A Thebus and Thebus. Thebus returned to ice. Thebus was set on fire, but luckily Thebus was fireproof. He took out a sword and slashed and dodged the elf's magic spells and captured the elf and forced him to revert the spell to make his brother normal again. Finally, he set the elf free. While waiting at the gate to the sea world, Bull and Charbolt caught up with ash, with bows, and arrows in their bags. Bull got a bag of trans pills, folk. Take this so you can breathe underwater. We took the pills and went up the stairs to the sea world. Everyone was ready to attack. Ten days later, they ran to Mount Everest. After five days of climbing Mount Everest, they threw up the key and then teleported into the clouds. Charles suddenly disappeared. Then they teleported into the clouds and saw Zeus himself. Zeus yelled in their minds, What are your names? One by one, Bull, Sharples, Thepress, and Thebru said their names. Then Zeus barked in their head, Here's the deal. If you defeat my son, I'll never hunt your family ever again. If you lose, you'll let me take your souls. Will he send Thebru's mind? Deal, deal. Then Sharples appeared and shot Thepress and Bull. Then they were paralyzed and pulled out a sword and looked at Thebus ready to fight. Thebus was shot that Sharples was Zeus's son, but he too was ready to fight. Clang, clang, clang. Thebus' sword fell, so had Sharples. Bull took out both and arrows and started shooting at Sharples. Sooner or later he was defeated, then Zeus yelled, Your family is free to take your mother, Mary. And as soon as he said, Mary teleported to them. Then Harry came ready to fight. Mary gave Thebus an amulet with a portal to the underground. As that Thebus smashed the amulet to the ground and then it opened the portal to the underground. The team fights their way through the underworld monsters with any power they had. And then made it to Hades and Thebus confronted his father about Mary. Since Hades the god of the underworld, he rewarded the team by letting all the 
family souls out onto Earth. When the team came back to Earth, everyone cheered. Let's give it for both C Press and C Bruce. Everyone cheered for both C Press and C Press, and they were known as heroes from now on and then. Everyone lived happy ever after until Zeus attacked again, but that's another story.